Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And today we are taking a look at Pepe Unchained, right? So the biggest mystery that we are dealing with right now as you saw in the thumbnail is where is the 73 million, right? Where is it? Because if you go over to Dex2, we do see here that the liquidity is only 3.9 million, right? So where is it? Of course, we do know that there are a lot of investors who are still staked, right, uh, currently, but we should be seeing a liquidity of at least around 20 million, right? I think that's reasonable. What do you think? Let me know down there in the comment section. So where is it? So I did head over to X, right? And guess what? It seems like all the tweets with the 73 million big numbers have all disappeared, right? Except for this one. We see it's been a long journey. And the PayPal pre-sale has been unprecedented, uh, has seen unprecedented demand. As we approach 74 million hard cap, the journey to establish PayPal Unchained as the go-to chain for meme coin development and trading begins. So this is the only reference that I see currently of the 74 million. You can just go on X and check. There's absolutely nothing, right? But these numbers were always being updated all the time, right? 60 million, 70 million, all that. But it seems like all those tweets have just disappeared except for this one, right, that I just shared, which is on the 4th of December, right? It's, it's the only one that is making reference to anything close to that 73 million that was raised. So where is that uh, money, right? And another thing that I want to address is a lot of people come in the comment section this thing saying, this is not a scam and all that. Remember... Right. Uh, if you're watching, this is maybe your first video or you haven't been following the channel for the last year, for the last three years. Right. Um, the scam is in the pre-sale. Right. Which is the reason why I say don't buy the pre-sale. You can buy after the pre-sale. The reason for that is very clear. Look at this. The, the, the price of the pre-sale was around 13, right? Uh, 0 0.013. That's the last price of the pre-sale. I think 0 0.0129. Right. Uh, point zero one two nine, right? So point we can say point zero one three was the last price of the pre-sale, just rounding it up, right? So that's what people actually paid in the pre-sale. But when the token actually launched, it dropped all the way to two zeros nine. So this is something that we've seen again and again and again and again, right? So which is the reason why I say don't buy in the pre-sale. It's a money grab, right? And currently some people are coming and saying, it's not a scam. I was able to claim my tokens and all that. So because everything worked out for you, then it's not a scam, right? What about the rest of the people who are not able to claim their tokens? There are lots of people who are not able to claim their tokens. And not because they don't know what they're doing. It's because they are blacklisted, right, from, from the people behind this, from claiming, right? Uh, because what we have seen... In the previous scams, especially looking at BTC20, which is a scam one year ago that we did cover, right, is going to the scam floor. Currently, we are in step six, right? So this is after launch. A lot, bunch of investors are stuck in staking for seven days, which means they can't, they are not able to actually benefit from this uh, price point that you see right here. They are not able to benefit from it, right? Why? Because they are stuck in staking. And this is intentional because remember, staking forms the pillar of the scam, which is why from the very start, I say don't take your tokens, right? And some of you actually were, able, were actually saved because of that, because now you're able to claim your tokens, you're able to gain even a 2x, right? Um, but then during this stage, a lot of people are still staked right now. They are still staked. And this is where you see stage six, as we highlighted this, the artificial price pump. Why do we call this artificial? Right, because the team knows exactly how much liquidity they've released, knows exactly how many people are they've allowed to be able to claim. And guess what? All those people are the ones coming in saying, I was able to claim, there's nothing wrong and all that. But there's still a bunch of people or investors who are not able to claim. A lot of investors who are still stuck in staking. So it's absolutely deliberate. That's why we're talking about the 70 3 million. Where is it? Right? So that's one of the things there. 
uh, that I just wanted to bring awareness. And our purpose for this channel is not just to fad against projects, it's to wise up so that we are a step ahead, so that we don't get scammed, right? So even if you are going to go and invest into, into uh, people, you do so knowing absolutely all the risks. You do it at a time where your risk is reduced, such as after launch and there's a price drop, right? In most of the chances, you won't go wrong if you do that. But uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't lose, but at least it's not going to be as in buying in the pre-sale and you just get blacklisted from claiming until the token dumps like 80 and 90 percent right because currently we are sitting in the stage in the artificial price pump why we call it artificial i've already said one of the reasons they already know you see only 3.9 million liquidity out of 73 million right they know who they've allowed to claim and who can't because the people who are allowed to claim those are the ones that are going to be making noise right they're going to be making noise everywhere uh so the other thing uh, as well that I want to, to highlight here in terms of uh, when you look at the artificial price pump are the bots, right? So if you remember, you go to Dex Tools and then you filter only the well transactions with you, which is the trades of 10,000 and above, right? You're going to see that majority of these transactions, right? They are coming from bots, right? They're coming from, from like bots that are buying and selling for a loss, right? Especially the famous bot, which is the AE13 bought uh, which is buying and selling uh, for a loss so that's one thing that you need to keep an eye on right are these legitimate transactions from actual real investors yes most of them might be but there are a lot of transactions coming here that are just purely coming from bots right so that's one thing that you need to be uh, careful of right so you can see this ae13 bot right so you can see here this was a buy of 76 you see what I'm talking about here? This is a buy of $76,000. And then the same bot AE13 goes and sells for $61,000. So you can see that here, this bot has um, just lost about $14,000 around there, right? Uh, $14,000, $15,000 around there. Why? To prop up the price right so when it sees that the price is going down it pumps it up they've got a price level that they want to maintain why for multiple reasons we've seen this again and again right the other reason is they want to have a green chart on coin market cap we've seen this with multiple other previous games they want a green chart on here right on coin market cap but it's at the expense of who yes it's at the expense of those who are stuck in the seven days so if you Watch the video, you didn't stake, good for you. Maybe you even got a 2x, right? But that's not the story for everyone. So the purpose of this channel is to wise up against scammers. And it doesn't mean that you're not going to invest. It doesn't mean that uh, we're not going to invest, but I'm certainly not going to invest during the pre-sale, right? Uh, we, we want to be wise with our investment, Right, so that we just we just don't get, get taken for a ride. And speaking of that, I just want to add another step here, right? Even though it has not really happened a lot. So, of course, like we're talking about the artificial price pump. That's what we are seeing right now because there are these bots which are propping up the price. And as the bot props up the price, other investors also comes and buys. And then it propels and creates that momentum, right? And then you see that appreciation coming through, right? Uh, being propelled by the multiple bots that we see that are buying and selling for a loss. And then it comes now to the stage where those who are still stuck in staking, 17 um, December, that's when most of those who are stuck in staking are going to be able to start unstaking. And I need to, to actually highlight here something very important. Be careful of claim and stake, right? Don't click this button. If you claim and stake, you're going to claim your tokens and then you're going to stake them at the same time, which means you need to start counting seven days from that moment. You need to just claim. Don't claim it. This is a trick, right? It's, it's intentionally placed there, uh, right? Right on top. And then claim is underneath, right? It's on, it's, it's on purpose, right? Because they know a lot of people are just going to see claim. They, they click and then they say, oh man, I've claimed and staked now, right? So it's done there to be able to trick you. So be careful of that. So coming back to this, so you do see that there is the artificial price pump, right? Once these seven days, we are reaching the seven days. During this period, that's when 
they, their aim is to get listed on a tier one exchange. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Their aim is to uh, get listed, right, uh, on a tier one exchange. And so far, it has only been possible with one token that I've seen that were be, they were behind, which was Wall Street memes, right? They were listed on a tier one exchange, and this happens in step. This happens actually in step around here right so tier one list tier one listing right uh, i don't normally add this step here because it hasn't happened except for just one token that we did cover which was wall street memes it has been delisted anyway on the tier one exchange which was okx so if there's going to be a listing with um with this particular token uh, wall street memes it's most likely going to be a an okx listing right uh, that will be one of the first tier one exchanges, even if it's going to go to Binance or whatever, it's going to be that. So this is their goal, right? Because once they get a listing on tier one exchange, it's going to induce more liquidity, right? Which would then allow all those who are staked, right? In these seven days, now when they start to unstake, they're able to actually benefit from that. But if this listing doesn't happen within the seven days, then we are really facing the risk of getting here to step eight very quickly, which is the ridiculous price drop, right? Because currently everything is controlled. Those who are able to claim, right, according to the liquidity that is available, you see around there, there is about 3.9 million out of 73 million. Remember, the people behind the project, they always make their money. It doesn't matter uh, whether the token goes to Binance or whatever happens with the token. They always make their money because as soon as you buy in the pre-sale, they've got your money. They decide. They are the judges who decide who claims and who doesn't, right? Uh, and the other people logged in staking, right? They even done forced staking in some of the projects. So this is something I just wanted to highlight. So if this is something that you're not interested in, there's no need for you to come to the channel and throwing all sorts of obscenities. We are just people here who are wising up against scammers. If that's something that you're not interested in, there's no need for you to come and throw obscenities in the comments. You're just going to get blocked and never be able to comment again on the channel, right? Is, is that really worth it, right? Uh, if you don't see any value to this channel, right, there is absolutely no need for you to drop comments and all that because it doesn't phase me in any way, right? So this is the update for this one. Let me know what has been experienced. Are you able to claim your tokens, right? Are you staked, right? Uh, and if you are watching this after the seven days of staking, if you've been able to claim your tokens. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Just let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.